where would a Kansas City Chiefs three-peat stand in all-time Super Bowl era moments? If the Chiefs win the Super Bowl this year, I think they're the greatest team in NFL history. Hmm. I do. Because of this, you and I agree the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s of the NFL is a completely different world. The 60s Packers are in a weird spot in time because to discount five out of seven is insane. And Lombardi, in my opinion, is the single greatest coach in NFL history. Like him, Paul Brown, Bell, but I, I would take Lombardi. That being said, a big chunk of that dynasty came when there were not a lot of teams in the league. The AFL and NFL didn't play each other. You still had a lot of teams in the NFL that barely employed black players. So I think it's different. I think if the Chiefs win the Super Bowl this year, you compare them to the 70s Steelers, those Pats teams. I think you'd have to clearly say they're better than the Cowboys in the 90s. They would have won four out of six and gone to five of them. The only two teams I think it's fair to compare them if they win this year are the Steelers of the 70s because they would have also won four out of six. Now, they didn't repeat, but they went back to back twice. And then the Pats, but the Pats, it depends on how you look at them. Like, I look at them as two different dynasties that happened back to back, which is weird, but it's the way it worked out. Like, that 01 to 04 team is completely different than the team that was winning yes, with yes. People conflate them because of Brady and Belichick, but they're Seymour, the two. Seymour, Ty Law, like, Willie McGinnis. Yeah, uh, like that team was totally different. That is a defense dominant team, right? Correct. And I think the Chiefs, if they win this year, they're better than either one of those individual dynasties. Hmm. The Pats won three out of four, and then later on won two out of three, went, went to three in a row. The Chiefs supersede both of those things. To me, it's them and Pittsburgh. And I would argue that Pittsburgh, you could sit there and say, hey, look, they had a better longevity uh, bit of a run there. But to win three Super Bowls in a row in this era of football is insane. I just think that would be the single greatest accomplishment anybody's ever had. And it's not like they've done it playing a bunch of tomato cans. Like, they've played some really, really good teams and some guys who are going to be Hall of Fame quarterbacks. Yeah. And they've beaten them all. If they win this year, I think it's the greatest accomplishment in NFL history from a team perspective. I don't think that's cr a crazy thing to to float out there. Yeah, it was like a different game almost. I don't mean in, in the X's and O's of it. I mean that in the 70s, the standard was if you beat everybody in the draft, you're going to be good for the next decade. And that's, that's what Pittsburgh did. And they tapped into a market, specifically the HBCU. It is the greatest draft in the history of people in any sport, the 1974 Steelers draft. But that was the standard of how you dominated the NFL. Now it's a different game in terms of free agency and beyond. And uh, yeah, it seems like the Chiefs have mastered that at least to the extent of getting the right guy at the right position. And let's not let history ever forget that the draft evaluators and beyond were collectively on Mitch Trubisky over Patrick Mahomes and Deshaun Watson.